Before we hop into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. This weekend, August 28th, I'm actually fishing Clint's tournament out on the river. It's a benefits tournament. He has it every single year. We always go out and fish it. I'm actually gonna be going up there, fishing the tournament, and then after the tournament, around four o'clock to 6 p.m., I'm gonna have like a mini meet and greet. So if you guys are in like the Savannah area, be sure to go swing by. It's actually at Clio Boat Landing, Tuxa King. Um, so if you guys wanna swing by Saturday, come say hey to your boy. I get to shake your hand, maybe get a picture with you and talk some fishing. I would love to meet some of you guys. And uh, also they're gonna be having some dinner. It's like $5 a plate, $1 ends up getting donated. So if you guys wanna come out and come meet your boy, please come do so. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's like this tide's going out. We got high tide. Now it's starting to get pulled out. All this water is getting sucked out of this river. I want to try some new stuff today. So it's like we got some of these main river spots right here. I'm going to start on it, see if we can get a fish right off the bat. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, right when this water starts moving out on the outgoing tide, usually the bite gets better. But are these fish still positioned in the main river, especially since it's the summer? Because on the Savannah River, most of those fish are positioned on the main river, but on the Ogeechee, is it the same? I don't really know. So let's try it out today and see if we can catch some fish. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Comment down below for your boy. Um, we actually ended up releasing the rods and it was amazing, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Um, almost everybody ended up getting their combos. We still have some that I actually just released on the website. So if you guys want to check out some of the rods, Link will be down below, um, but I just can't thank you guys enough. Like this is my first big business venture, especially with kicking their bass TV and coming out with a branded product. Um, so for that to happen and you guys support it the way that you did, I'm just so grateful for you guys. And I really appreciate that. Um, it's just mind blowing to me um, to see where we've gotten in the last 10 years of creating content and now finally diving into the business scene. Um, it's just awesome, man. I'm so excited for it. I'm so pumped. I feel like I'm young again. And I'm getting all motivated with it. I'm like, you know, we're about to get into this business side and start coming out with some cool products for you guys. And man, I'm just very grateful and uh, thankful for each and every one of you. And um, I'm gonna be keeping you guys posted on everything, but we're gonna try to catch some fish today. That's the main purpose and see what we can do. So let's go ahead and start fishing. You can tell the boat's drifting back right now. All this water's getting pulled out. Let's see if we can catch some big fish today. We got a tournament this weekend. It's not out here on the Ogeechee, it's on the Savannah River. You know, that's the one that Clint puts on the benefits tournament. And we wanted to go out there today, but we ended up coming out here because it's closer to my house and it was kind of raining about 15 minutes ago. So we're like, I'd rather be close to my house if it starts downpouring. Let's go ahead and get in the fishing. I'm gonna stop talking. All right, so if you guys saw one of the recent videos, I was out on Lake Lanier with Daddy Van Dam. If you guys wanna go check out Daddy Van Dam's channel, go do so. And also, if you guys want to see that video, go check it out because it's been a minute since me and Daddy Bay and Dam filmed the video. And um, we were fishing on Lake Lanier, you know, for some big spotted bass. And one of my favorite baits out there, especially for fishing with spot for spots, is just a standard little shaky head. Something I've never fished on the river. And I thought about it last night and I happen to have it tied on. So what I'm going to do is retie this because there are a few frays in my line and try the shaky head out here on the river. When I'm fishing soft plastics out here, it's usually Texas rigs. It's usually Texas rigs and that's about it. Maybe some jigs, but I've never gone around and like flipped around and thrown around a shaky head. So let's try it today. See if we can catch some fish on it. Cody, really? <laughs> what? You got Senior Ducky right there? <laughs> <laughs> this is Senior Ducky, by the way. If you guys don't know, we found this man the last time we were out here on the river and we thought he was a good luck charm. And I don't know, man. What do you think, Cody? I don't think we know enough I, about it yet. I don't think we know enough about Never trust a man's with some eyelashes like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I trust Senior Ducky yet. 
He's supposed to be a legend, but we'll find out soon. If we don't catch any today, I'm gonna blame it on him, bro. We're gonna put it back where we found it. Seriously, it's right down there. It's about a quarter mile. Oh, it's a mud. I thought it was a good bass. Come on, baby, you big fat dude. I really thought that was a bass, even when he jumped. All right, big boy. I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. All right, buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, we started off with something. <laughs> Not really what we wanted, but hey, that bite did feel good. It looked good, dude. You saw the uh, hook on that thing. I was like, that's like a four or five pound bass. <laughs> Dude, so the thing is, it's like so shallow here too. So when I hook said he like already came out of the water and I thought he was a bass. Did he spray my lens? The way he, just one little droplet. Okay. I think I got more on my glasses than that. I got to retie though, that's definitely frayed. Look how he kind of bent out the hook, you see that? Yeah. That is not what you want. small one <laughs> blew up on it like a dang top water bro right in that little canal little creek look how fat he is though not a big one but that was just a cool catch bro skipped right up there where that water is coming out there he was that's pretty fish ain't it yeah pretty bass fat chunky dude we got to start somewhere so first bass today second fish that's the way to go. Tied on a fluke a second ago. I've just been skipping the mess out of it, putting it everywhere I need to put it. And uh, I skipped right up there and he just dove over it like a top water. That was a cool bite. Oh, and I got a big one, dude. Not a big one, but he's a good one. I thought he was freaking huge, dude. He boiled on that thing. <laughs> that's a good one ain't it brother yeah it is I, I looked over and i saw it attacking the fluke dude that's a that's a great fish like we're fishing tournaments out here you'd love to have one of them oh, in the yeah. box that's just fat bro i don't know if he's quite two pounds but he's up there man for the size of him just so thick these fish are dense out here yeah that's a nice bro one. that's sweet yeah i skipped it right under that tree and popped it at the top and he rolled on it i thought it was a four or five pounder just the way he ate it, it seemed huge I'll take a two pounder all day, bro. Mm -hmm. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah. Getting somewhere. Like there wasn't one in that cubby. I was surprised, but he was under that. There also should be one right here. The reason that kind of freaked me out too is because I've got on like four pounders in here on a fluke really good. Yeah. Like one, a couple days I've gone in here and it was like, I was catching three and four pounders like it was nothing. So yeah i did dude i was like bro that's a freaking monster i mean the way he boiled on it wasn't like a two pounder same spot bro that's that's one of those spots where they stack up <laughs> that, was, that was the weirdest like jump of the fish yeah you know what i did that time i let it sit he ain't big but he's fat he ain't as pretty as the other ones it's a fish though. Same spot I caught that decent one a second ago. There's another fish there. Just let it sit. There might be another one I might might throw another cast. Cool. What does that even mean, dude? 
said he promises he doesn't have any cameras. Oh! <laughs> Dude. I've never seen a bass fly like that. <laughs> dude, you're, you're killing me, dude. <laughs> dude, that was the fattest bass. They're also just like short and stubby, man. <laughs> I want to see some like three pounders though. This, all right. So this is what we're gonna do. We we haven't fished up here in a minute. This is upriver, so we're gonna actually get out of here here in a moment. It's a pretty little bass, just fat guy. Thank you, baby. So we're gonna get out of here and go down river. That's where we're used to catching a lot of fish. And I also have a few, a few spots over there that I think will hold some big ones. So we're gonna get out of this area and go up there. But I mean, we caught, I caught four in here. It's not bad, really not. You gotta start somewhere. So we'll go up, we'll go down river and see if we can get on some better like two to three pound fish. Dude, he about jerked the rod out of my, he took my tail. Man, there's fish on this bank. I think that one is a bass. Literally pulled my tail right off. I got one. It's a warm mouth. Oh, no, it's a bass. Tiny Twinkie bass. I'm hooked on the outside of the mouth. That's so weird. Little squirt. Bro, the way that that mud bit me that first cast, man. Yeah. That bite was crazy. Like, just the way he pulled down my rod was just... <laughs> want him to eat it. And one time I want him to eat it. I know there's more bass down there. Probably catch two more, at least. There he is. Yeah, here's a little tiny, tiny squirt. They're on this bank really good though. Really good. Wind is whipping, guys. I apologize about that. But it's gonna be a muddy. I jacked his lip up. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> little pounder. They're eating this little trick worm, though. Just throwing something different. So I keep her going. I wanna see some bigger ones. We got drenched yesterday, guys. Right after those last two catches, this big storm just pulled up. Ended up soaking us. Cody was sitting on the dock holding the boat and this guy was trying to back in. He just was taking forever and Cody looked like a wet dog just sitting out there on the boat. I felt bad for you, man. man that, that was pretty bad. Uh, but we're back out here today. You know, we only got a little over an hour yesterday to fish, but we're gonna see what we can put together. The water's actually really high today. We got a lot of wind just like yesterday. And we're gonna see what happens. You know, this isn't the perfect water level that I would like to be fishing right now. And it's not even an outgoing tide yet, but we're gonna be throwing a lot of different baits today. You know, I tied up like eight, nine different rods. I've rigged up a bunch of stuff. And we're just gonna kind of put our heads down, cover a lot of water and see if we can get on some more fish today and hopefully not get rained on. So let's go ahead and hop into it.
Got one. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Little squirty. Little squirtster. <laughs> Get us started, right? Yeah. About time. What Little squirt? It? Like 30 minutes, 45 <laughs> minutes? Seriously. And that water level just. Uh. I cast right there where you cast on that wall, too. Crazy. Smallest bass I've caught in a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, little grunt. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was a giant. <laughs> well, guys, here's my first fish today. I thought he was a freaking schlaver donkey. <laughs> uh, did you think I was a big fish, bro? I just thought it was. A big <laughs> <fish>. <laughs> I leaned into him. He didn't move. I was like, wait. I know there's a fish. I feel his head thumping, and it's just a squirt. Guys, I don't know what it is. If anybody's watching this that fishes out here, let me know down below if the tie charts have been completely wrong for y'all. Because at two o'clock, it should have been high tide. The water's still filling up and it is four o'clock right now. <laughs> Makes no sense. We don't, get it. we don't understand. So now we're just trash fishing. We're not out here at the right time. The timing's everything with the water out here. I mean, it. it <laughs> You can come out here two hours from now and catch 15 fish in 30 minutes and then come out here now and catch two fish in four hours. You know, it's just, it's aggravating. We've only been out here for an hour, but we only have two little tiny squirts. Nothing big either. Dude, this whole video is gonna be censored. We should honestly say something about it. It should be like, <laughs> <laughs> that was a new hey. experience for me. Where was it? Censored content. So guys, I don't know if Cody's gonna put this in the video or not, but we have been just talking some trash. You know, me and Cody talk a lot of trash on the water. We only get bites when we're just talking about something that we should probably not put in the video. <laughs> like every time we've got to bite this video, every time the other day, every time today, like we don't get bites unless we're just talking dirty, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. So if there are some sensors, I apologize, but that is the secret to getting the bites today. You know? <laughs> it's a good one too, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> it's a freaking solid one bro <laughs> cody you did that you're <laughs> thank you for that by the way you're welcome dude dude i'm i'm just convinced i'm sorry that's a good little freaking chunker eat that thing good skipped right up on that bank i think there's gonna be more sitting there cody we might go back through that that's pretty bass that's ain't nice it one. it's just a fat dude beautiful colors too thank you baby I appreciate you. There we go. Three fish. Right there. Oh my God. That's dirty. <laughs> Dude, they stacked on this bank, brother. That is a nice bass right there on the rage crawl. Just fat and chunky. Nothing big. That bite that I had right before this though, that was a solid one. I could feel his head shake when I hook set. Just feel this big head wobble. We just found this bank. We haven't been having many bites, and now all of a sudden it's like boom, 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 consistent. So I think we're gonna be getting on some more fish. You got one? Is he big? How big is it? It's like a pound. pound. That's a fat one, dude. Oh gosh. Guess where I caught him? In that same spot? Same spot. Oh my gosh, what is that, dog? <laughs> it's a mud fish. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah, something to slam. That might have been what I had earlier was that mud. That, that one that we were, we were getting bit over here was that mud, I think. Yeah. That dude, I'm telling you, whatever I had bite me right there felt really good. That's where you caught that other That's one? That's I caught that other one, but I didn't get all the way back in there. I just got in the mouth of it. Huh. Snap me right off, buddy. I mean, just grab the mess. I won't tell you if it's a mud or not. Oh. <sighs> 
See how clean that is? Clean, clean. That's that's his teeth hitting that, brother. Yeah. Oh, we ate that thing good. <laughs> I'm just glad we found on some. We got on some good fish right here, guys. They're just. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh bass, dude, what? The bass. Did it have the bait in his mouth? I didn't see the bait, dude? But that was the whole fish. That was like a two pounder, wasn't it? Yeah. Dude, I know the GoPro saw that. I hope the GoPro. Yo, no, it definitely saw it because my chest was just aiming out. What? Yo. That wasn't a mud then. <sighs> Look how clean that break is, though, bro. What in the world? Maybe that mud bit you before that. It had a fray. That mud that you just caught frayed it. Yeah, that's probably what it was. What? That was like a two pounder too. That was so cool. Was, I'm gonna put one of these on. You can put one on too. Look. What's he got? They're like black worms, but they got a slight blue swirl. Cool. I'll try one. You wanna try one on? Yeah. If you guys wanna check out any of the baits or, or rods I use, guys, links down below. Wanna go check out the kicking combo too? It's down below. Still taking a little bit of pre orders. Yeah, I'm gonna try this worm. Gosh. Hey, yeah, there's fish here. You know what it is? All that dirty stuff we were talking about when we first pulled up. It's got these fish going. All the way out here. How big? I can't tell. Are you reeling it in? Yeah, I was bringing it back in the cast again. <laughs> Dude, these things are destroying our worms today. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's happening, but we just went from like the slowest day ever to just like spanking them yeah, it's not a good one but man these are fun to catch that's what i'm saying like no they're not a big really. one it's a good one here's a nice fish look at this guy see they're all chunky you've been telling me like ever since we've been fishing this river you're like dude you'll pull up on some spots and catch like five or six i've never <laughs> until <laughs> right now nice bro. look at that next cast they're just low cody they're just loaded there dude Look at that, they are munching this KVD finesse worm, man. Me and Cody, Cody like loves throwing a black worm. And this one's like what, black with a tiny bit of blue swirl. Yeah. They're smoking it. He just threw a cast in there, caught one that was a little bigger than this. I threw my next cast, caught another one. And Cody, tell them what you were just saying about, you know, what I was saying yeah, to you. Yeah, Joe's been telling me that there's spots on the river that you'll pull up and catch like back to back to back to back fish. And I haven't seen it yet. We just haven't looked into that. But today it was really cool to see. This spot right here. How many fish off of it? Six? At least six. And how many have we lost? <laughs> <laughs>